Like I've said before, there's no such thing as rewinding time in the house. One story ends, a new one begins. It's an endless cycle of life. You know how it goes with games. You can always start a new one. Not engine new story, please activate it manually from the other menu. Ah. Ah. So basically you say to you, I can just go new game plus now. <laughs> Hello, my Arthas members and the Witch Watchers to Hello Charlotte, episode 3. The second part. Because, well, why the second part? Well, well, well. Because a fellow Arthas members told me about last week actually. That this game, this confusing, so confusing game, it's actually a second part. So, I mean, I technically finished this game, but still, 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 because it's actually the second part and just a half. So, yeah. Other words, let's go back. To the same story but different because I have actually completely forgotten what will happen here. So yeah, new story. So Eva works. Presents Eva Rain. Eva Rain. Um, the world is clad in white and red. The Awakened One sings a song of hatred and despair as she drains the color from the briefless bodies. Also, she got booby. In this deafening cacophony of pain screams, I say a silent prayer. Ah. Ah. Hi. What? Monstrosity hovers above me. Sneering. Let's fly hide and seek, shall we? I'll give you three attempts. She sings. She sings songs. Caressing my cheek. I feel something crawl into my ear. But I'm frozen in terror. It's futile to resist. Run, little girl, she says. Let's meet where mother is. Okay. Got it? <laughs> I have to hide. Why? Oh, there's a body for of good old Charlotte, or well, I think Q84. <sighs> huh? No way. After threatening me, she. What the hell? You don't have the right to be dead. Not after what you've done. You absolute freak show. Psycho murderer. No, no, she can't be dead. After I've seen what she's capable of. No, it can't be. I've seen her die before, multiple times. Hey, you, you're here, right? The one who was pulling the strings. Oh, hi, hi. Confirm if you're up. Confirm. I see. It's just as she said then. 
You really do exist. Please, please help me find a place to hide. I'm injured and Wolfshire might be still looking for me. I can't afford to die here. After she... After on... Uh, oh, well, it's on the floor. Uh, uh, that monster. Our only problem is that I've restricted access to all the areas in the house. Oh, well, well. Now that we have this corpse, this might not be a problem. Thankfully, I only need the eye. Gotta brings out a box cutter. Acquired Charlotte's eye. Disgusting. Understandable. Let's go to the elevator. This the one switching control strings from Charlotte to Scarlet. With Scarlet's minimalist vault view, you'll be able to see the house in a new light. And eye scanner, huh? Oh, then here goes nothing. Eye scan. Eye scan successful. All right. We need to go to floor one. I've never gone there before, but now that you're with me, I think we'll be fine. Please hurry. Oh, okay, now we see everything like it should be. The nation reached. Hmm. Oh, right. Plan to stick around. How about I give you desks from now on? Ah, finally again. Should be easier to know it that way. So, find a way to enter the rooms on. on the, can go back to the second floor. So this is the only place we can hide. I mean, there's still there a lot of floor, but. Mm. Door is locked. Mm -hmm. It's a lock. Mm -hmm. Alright, this dog has speech recognition. We can't go past here. Is it a vent shaft? Of course. It's a storage room? A coughed up lob. Uh. Well, ow! Dark start to dance before my eyes. This room will do. I think I can rest here. Just. A little place. When I open my eyes, the lights blind me. Have I died? You have 10 seconds to explain yourself. Otherwise, I'm activating the security system. No, I'm fairly sure the afterlife doesn't have pink hair midgets threatening me. Ah, Felix. Ah. 10, 9, Eight. Shh. I covered the boy's mouth with my head, silencing him. Um, wait. She might hear us. And what? Who are you talking about? Charlotte Wolfshire. Do you know her? I do. So, is she here? No, she isn't. She hasn't come home yet. Home? Oh God. Oh no, I have to run. I abruptly get up only to win some pain. Can you kindly calm the fish down? Wilshire well, isn't here and I'm not her associate, okay? Oh, my ears. Keep your language in check, will you? How you get the f out of this f house, okay? You of a and you understand? <coughs> Sorry, you're in no position to lecture me, miss. I treated your bones. Where's my thank you, Mr. Honecker? Honecker, as in Felix Honecker? Uh, yes, so. I once read a, read a novel with a character named Dad. Not again. Yes, yes, I know. I've read it too. Let's, let's never talk about this again. That was a sensitive subject. 
It's nice to meet you. I'm Scarlet Eiler. Sorry for being rude earlier. I just panicked. I... Alright, alright, I understand. How did she do this time? What do you mean? No, it, it doesn't matter. Scarlet Wilshire. Murdered every single person on the second floor. And only on the second floor. The first baby okay, too. Hopefully. Oh. That makes some talent. So you're the sole survivor. I'm the sole survivor. So. Yes, she wanted to play hide and seek. So she let me go. She's seriously messed up. Saying things like, I'll meet you where mother is. What could it possibly mean? She couldn't have possibly meant my mother, because my mother is kind, beautiful, and understanding. You have parents, Mr. Honecker? I'm not sure, not sure, so sure anymore. He turns away, his voice becoming eerily quiet. I decide not to press him further. I have an uncle, though. I see. Say, are there any other people on this floor from you and your uncle? Hey, hold your horses. The fact that I've tended to your wounds doesn't mean that we're on friendly terms now. Why should I trust you? If anything, we should quarantine you in case you brought contagious diseases from the second floor. I'm fairly sure I'm not contagious. Like I said, we can't be sure. No one here is allowed on second floor. Those are excluded. So, you've never been to school? School? What's that? Well, it's a place you learn stuff. But you're in the, in this world, so it may, might be something completely different. More terrifying. A lot more terrifying. So terrifying. <laughs> My wounds were treated by a kid without degree. What good... Would a piece of paper with a signature do you? Well, actually... People will just go, Oh, you have knowledge, even though you're actually a bit... A bit in your mind. Look, you aren't coughing up blood anymore. Isn't that evidence enough? You're right. I'm sorry. Never mind that. See for now. If you do anything funny, Mr. Bennett will break your neck with a TV remote. Huh? This Mr. Bennett sounds like a scary person. If you try to leave this room, the doors will burn your death, you to death. But... I'll bring you food so that will, you won't starve. Any have any preferences? No, not really. All right. I'll be back in a few hours so to check up on you, Miss Eiler. You're my patient for now, so rest assured. No one here will harm you. Okay. I want to believe him. Mr. Honecker leaves the room. So, what now? I stare at the ceiling. Hey, puppeteer. Thank you for helping me get here. It worked out somehow, didn't it? I think I need a name to refer to you by. How does Lilith sound? Or would you prefer Seth? Alright, Seth, it is. It was my father's name. You know... I have memories of the true realm. It's a place that no, that's nothing like this world. In that realm, I didn't have a physical body of my own. Nor was I my own person. Here, everything changed. But, even though I have these memories, I don't feel a connection to them. As if they don't belong to me anymore. Or perhaps they didn't, they didn't in the first place. Still, I feel like I should apologize to the person, Scarlet Isler, of that world hurt the most. However, no matter where I look, I can't find him anywhere. Sorry, 
I'm remembering my phones. I need to rest. Good night, Seth. Yes. Is this now ours? Hmm. 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 Yeah. I dreamt of piles of bodies soaked in red with Charlotte Wolfshire sitting atop of them. Atop them. Find me, Scarlet Isler, she says. Let's meet where Mother is. Pushing me down, hovering above me. Charlotte Wolfshire is crying. I woke, wake up in cold sweat. Awake already? Mr. Honecker. Morning, Miss Isler. Saw a bad dream. More like a nightmare. I have to find Wilshire. Huh? Why so sudden? Aren't you hiding from her? I just remembered something. <gasps> oh, it was from the other half. Huh? And, well... After you finish with my treatment, I'll have nowhere to go. The one I knew is that one wrong step and the doors will evaporate me. And now Wilshire is playing my dreams. I'll find her and get it over with. How do you plan to do that? And when you find her, how are you sure that she won't kill you? I haven't thought about it yet. But I want to understand her. I'm afraid the logic behind your decisions is kind of wonky to me. Can't understand. You weren't there. She's not human. Charlotte Wolfshire is a monstrosity. She had her, her hair turned into enormous meaty appendages and she stabbed everyone with. Hmm. As if a tumor grew on her body. I mean, wait, appendages? A tumor? I might know what you're talking about. Please follow me here. I'll help you get up. Take the IV with you. So we get up and follow Mr. Honecker. Hmm? What the web? What is this? Organic matter infected with a parasite. Oh. We were able to extract it out of Miss Milfshire while she was sleeping. Told her in the process, but she responded anyway. But there's a whole pool of it. I know. After it obtained the host, it kept growing like a tumor. We were able to contain it because the host isn't sentient in any way. It's a viscerum... It's viscerum complex, which is basically a brainless mess of organs. With the sentient host to feed on. However, this parasite can manipul manipulate the fabric of time and space. Oh. Okay. I'll call it the Oracle. Oh. Uh, oh. If it's this powerful, then can I become a host? What? You have to be kidding me, right? Were you listening to what I just has said? Yes, I was. But I'm sure this is the same parasite that Wolfshaw used to cause the massacre. If I become its host, it'll be able to... Did the sleeping pills impair your thinking process also what miss Isla it it's basically suicide it's basically you ending your own life mm -hmm. I want to agree but all that comes out of my mouth is it doesn't matter it doesn't matter <laughs> sorry I 
little bit of a landing demo here. And I failed to attempt to that. Eh? No, I... Find me, Scarlet Island. Just... Please. I have to find Wolfshire, no matter what. I need the Oracle to face her as an equal. No, no. What in the world am I saying? You say so? Eh? He agreed? We've only met yesterday, nor are we friends. So I'm not really in any position to argue. Besides, I... Uh, no, it doesn't really matter. I'll do it. So, let's go. By the way, I seem to be quite knowledgeable about Wolfshire. I've been monitoring, monitoring her for a while. Have you ever seen anyone die a gruesome death and have an exact copy of them walk in like nothing happened a minute after? There's something seriously off about that. Right, I've thought the same way. Plus, Mufushaya herself is mentally unstable. Ah. We seem to be adamant of the conviction that all of the house's inhabitants are NPCs. Lock game, what? NPCs? Non-player characters. Apparently, she strongly believes that this world is a game. <coughs> I don't want to burst your bubble, bud. <laughs> Is that so? That's ridiculous. I mean, technically, every. It could also be in a game. And somebody's controlling us. Or somebody is, is someone controlling. Because we are actually just NPCs and just control ourselves. Hmm. <gasps> Although, uh, what she said about puppeteers was true. So, what if. We'll need to take one of the vials from the cabinet on the left. However, we can visit the oracle pool again if you want to. Although it is gross, I find it strangely fascinating. Oh. Oh, um. Is it God in a jar? It, it seems empty. It's a parasite. Of course you can see it. However, it's desperate for a host. Despite being this small, it's extremely powerful. Still, it might drive you crazy. Eat you from the inside. Are you sure it's worth the risk? No, I don't want this. I have to find Wolfshire. I'm scared. I have to find Wolfshire. Please, let's call it off. I have to call, find Wolfshire. It is. If you say so. Let's get started then. Alright. What do I need to do? I'll operate on you and insert a part of the oracle into your brain. Let's go. I have to put you to sleep first. It's a brain surgery after all. Drink this. Okay, will you manage my manage by yourself? You do not believe in my abilities, do you? Sorry. I can't help but be skeptical. I know. There's no guarantee your brain won't reject the for foreign substance. And your mind too. You might not recover after this. I'll prescribe your suppressant drugs to prevent the parasites. Rapid reproduction. But I can't promise anything. Nothing about this is fine. I me, mean, my mind supplies. Fine. I have to find Wolfshire. Let's start then. I close my eyes. Hey, you're shaking. Are you scared? I'm not. I am. I feel Felix Hanukkah reassuring the gripping grip my shoulder. I'm so pathetic. I squeeze my eyes shut, trying to calm down. But then a thought occurred to me. I'm no longer alone. For the first time since I woke up in this world, someone is here for me. 
And if I may make a mistake, there's someone to guide me. And if I fail, there will be someone to remember I existed. Death is your... Oh, hi. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> It's a fish! Well, well, well. <laughs> Please stop. Please stop, game. What do we have here? <laughs> game, stop. A cute little mind library. <laughs> you will deny it, but you, in fact, believe that we are some kind of god. Of a god. Could you stop? Adios ex machina. Do help you achieve your goals. <laughs> but more than that, you're terrified of us. <laughs> terrified of Charlotte Wilshire. <laughs> Say, how did it feel to watch all your classmates get turned into min mince meat? They were, they all were so, so nice to you. But bullied Miss Wilshire all the time. Also, now he comes again. <laughs> Why is that? We wonder. <laughs> and it was no ordinary bullying. <laughs> After all, her story wasn't R-rated for nothing, was it? Just look at all those camera angles. <laughs> it's all her own fault, they cried. <laughs> you knew, yet did nothing to help. <laughs> because the truth is, you didn't like her at all, did you? Did it get more louder now? No. Turning everyone like NPCs, putting herself above all of you. Mrs. O'Shire was really unpleasant, wasn't she? I tried to speak, but all that comes out of my mouth are pain sounds. <laughs> ah, too bad you can't counter our speech with a witty really compact, right? All right, we don't mean, mind giving you some freedom of speech. <coughs> the oracle waltzes around the place, falling apart and resembling all over again. <laughs> hey, class rep. <laughs> Why the sudden determination to find Wolfshire? Are you sure it's not mind control? I don't know, but I'll find her and make it clear. I couldn't understand her during her lifetime. So maybe I'll understand her in the afterlife. She seemed to know something I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you'll succeed at all? <coughs> I'll succeed. <coughs> No matter what, with Seth, it's possible. We made a deal. <laughs> oh, how lovely. <laughs> but how can you be sure that your puppeteer can be trusted? Excuse me. Excuse me here. I, I helped Charlotte in the first two games. So, huh? 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 I mean, it, 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 this game, it's... <laughs> I was just a watcher, the observer. But now... <laughs> it's time. It seems like you're quick to trust each passing stranger once they are even remotely kind of you. <laughs> For all we know, they might be on Wolfshire's side. 
They're with me now. It's all that matters. <laughs> they made me simply curious. I mean, kinda. <laughs> it's not like they're deeply invested in your character. Having known you for a few hours. Actually, a bit more. <laughs> Charlotte is everyone's favorite girl. Uh, no, 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 not really, not really for me, not really for me. <laughs> and look at you, you're obnoxious. I mean, true realm, uh, Scarlet, yeah. False realm, Scarlet, keep quiet. You're just a pest. <laughs> sure, sure. We'll shut up. The oracle falls apart again, turning into a pulsating mess of organs. I lay down on the floor, calling into a ball. It's okay. I can do this. Would you like to save your... Yes. Hmm? Morning. How are you feeling? Ah, my head hurts. Get it off. 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 Hey, easy. Wait a moment. I'll run the quick test. Hmm. As I thought, this is bad. Your body is rejecting the parasite. You won't last for long. Figures. How much time do I have? A week. Maybe less. Can I do anything about it? No. Congrats on getting me cancer. Yay! And for how long have I been called? Three days. We moved you back to the storage room after the operation. We? I talked to Bennett and Florence. They agreed to cooperate. I see, and Wolfshire, still not back. I can assume she might have left to an, to, to an another form. To find her, you will have to go up. Then, second floor should be out of question. I doubt she would go back there. Hmm, that might be true. We can narrow down the places by detecting the ones with anomalies. Oh, that would be... Of great help. Let's go then. Florence will help us with the coordinates. She's the tech spe specialist, specialist here. Follow me. Oh, hello. Hi, I'm Florence. Pleased to me to make your acquaintance. Hi, hello, Florence. I'm Scarlet. So, Felix said you accept, ex accepted the Oracle vol voluntarily. You'll die in a few days, right? Uh, well, Florence, please have some tact. Ah, sorry, sorry. Shik you, shik you. So, you two wanted me to find the coordinates or places with power anomalies detected, right? I found four. I sent the data to your PC, Mr. Honecker. Good job, Florence. You can always count on me. Let's see. We've detected the signs of wolf shower presence on the 4th, 6th, 9th and 11th floor. The first dimension is the language land. What? Looking on the fourth floor. All right, I'll be going then. Wait, what is it? Your condition is still unstable. Are you sure you'll be fine on your own? I don't need any help and I don't trust any of you. We're nobodies to each other. Indeed. However, you won't be able to operate the elevator with your level of access. We, however, have access to the floors from four to nine. Ah, damn it. Right, and not go straight to the 11th, by the way. 
That's a problem with that. Anyone can go to 11th floor, but no one comes back. It's the point of no return. So it's strong advice going there last. And I don't have the time nor the strength to agree, argue. Just let's go already. As the sooner I find a little shark, the better. Don't care about anything else, huh? I'll be going with you this time then. Let us depart. Have a safe trip, you too. Can I now walk faster without pressing the run keep? Ah, destination reached. Door slide open. And something rushes in, completely filling the room. Get brave. 